In this video, I'm going to show you two different options when it comes to checking your microamps and troubleshooting your flame sensor on different Henny Penny gas models so that you can choose which method works best for you depending on which model you're working on. But before we do that, we need to go ahead and turn our multimeter setting to the microamp setting on your meter. After we do that, we can go ahead and turn our VAT on and then drop our control panel. And we need to make sure that our pilot flames are lit before we proceed with checking our microamps. Okay. Once we know that our pilot flame is lit, now we can come down here to the side of our fryer where our ignition module is located here. And this is where you're gonna see the FC minus and the FC plus setting on our ignition module. You'll also notice these two little metal prongs here that are gonna be our contact points for checking our microamps. So now that our pilot flames are lit, we can go ahead and put our meter leads on here. And you can see that we have 2.0 microamps. Now the required setting that we need for our Fenwall ignition module is a minimum of 0.7 microamps, but generally we like to see in the above at least one microamp range. That's gonna give us a good reading that we'll be looking for. However, keep in mind your ignition modules could be in different locations depending on which model you're working on. The other way of checking microamps is by checking it in what we refer to as inline. So what we're going to do is we're going to make the multimeter a part of that circuit. Now before we do, we need to make sure that the fryer is in the off position and we can go ahead and drop down our control panel. And then we're going to have our flame sensor right here on our pilot assembly on the left hand side. And we have our connection spade terminal right here that we're going to take and unplug. We're going to put one side of our test lead and one side of the circuit. And then we're going to take our other test lead and put in the other side of that circuit so that now our multimeter test leads are completing that circuit on both ends of those connectors. So now we'll go ahead and turn our fryer back on. And once our pilot flames are lit, then we should have our microamp reading and this is a way of checking it in line. So you can see here we have 1.4 to 1.5 on our multimeter and this indicates a good flame sensor. And then we want to make sure that we turn the fryer off for safety reasons before we unplug our meter leads from the connectors. So now we have two different options when it comes to checking microamps and troubleshooting our flame sensors for your Henny Penny gas models. So you can choose which one's easiest for you when it comes to checking these in the field. 